Hello, my name is Max Suckling. I'm the Science Group Leader for Biosecurity here at Plant and Food at Lincoln. I trained at the university, first in the US, and then at Massey University in Palmerston North, where I completed a BSc Honors in Zoology. Then I went ahead and did a postgraduate diploma in the biotech faculty at Massey. And finally, I did a PhD at Lincoln University nearby here. My role as a science group leader is to look at the problems that we have in New Zealand and look at the group of people that I have and to try and match the two together so that we can come up with solutions for some of the both biosecurity and long-term pest management problems. Getting away from the use of pesticides, so we're coming up with alternative ways of controlling insects such as the use of sex pheromones. So for example, in the Apple industry, we worked for many years at developing attractants for insects and then turning those attractants into control tactics, such as through the use of mating disruption, where we have control of coddling moth and various leaf roller species, for example, over many thousands of hectares in New Zealand now without as much need for pesticides as we had in the past. So we've also started to work on serious biosecurity problems, such as the very famous painted apple moth eradication in Auckland, which we were very actively involved in with my group, with staff in Auckland and down here at Lincoln. So we're also working in the new space where invasive species, red imported fire ant is another famous one that we've been working on. These are, are species which are not yet present in New Zealand and yet will threaten us quite considerably in various ways, leading if we're not successful, to long-term need for pesticides for controlling these insects. So the work that we're doing is important because when we are successful, we avoid the long-term damage from these pests to New Zealand. So some of my favorite aspects are the chance to work with really clever people, including the summer students that we have. For example, we had two students again this summer, and I was very impressed with both projects and the students and how the work really advanced very, very quickly. We also like to work on a range of different problems, and we have quite a large number of different kinds of, of organisms, mostly insects, that we're working on. But we do have one project, for example, on invasive paddle crabs. So you can see there's quite a range of organisms and challenges that we're taking on here. Mm -hmm.